Hello. Long time no see. I seriously need more video suggestions. Anyway, welcome to my <coughs> slightly late Christmas special. Please watch the end of the video for an announcement. Number 7. Krampus from Austria and Central Europe. Krampus looks like a humanoid demon goat who punished naughty children. He rips out girls' pigtails, beats children with birch branches, and often carries a basket on his back to kidnap a child for his Christmas dinner. December 5th is Krampus Nacht, where men in homemade Krampus costumes run around the villages with big pointy pitchforks, demanding booze and threatening strangers. These Krampus runs have since become more organized, but still very terrifying. Number 6. Lissi from Norway. In Norway and Sweden, 13th of December is St. Lucia's Day. St. Lucia is represented as a beautiful young woman, and now the occasion is marked with a young woman in a white slash representing the saint roaming the streets. However, a few hundred years ago, celebrated Lucy differently. For the 13th of December, known as Lucy's Night, was when evil spirits wandered the earth. Children had to be good, and adults protected their house from evil with the sign of the cross. Lucy was portrayed as a hideous demon with terrible powers. Ish, beauty standards have really changed in these last few centuries. Lucy flew through the skies on a broomstick, accompanied by demon spirits and trolls, like a strange form of quidditch. But instead, they destroyed what they wanted and killed or kidnapped anyone who wasn't in bed. What a way to get your kids in bed for Santa. Just tell them that he'll kidnap them if they don't go to bed. Number 5. The Kara Korn Kolos from Bulgaria, Turkey and Serbia. General, generally portrayed as a mashup of the devil and a Sasquatch. This is basically a Turkish winter sphinx, giving travellers riddles and killing them if the answer is not satisfactory. A key difference is that if the traveller gave an answer that included the word black, then the Kara would let the traveller go. Sometimes this creature would ride people, only releasing them at dawn. If you let this creature into your home, he will be compelled to imitate your actions, and somehow this makes the creature set himself on fire if you set fire to silk thread. Number 4. The Kalikantzari from Greece. These creatures, who from now on I will refer to as Kalis, are a group of demons who were said to spend the year underground soaring through the tree of life that grows through the earth. Every December, when the tree is held together by just a thread, the twelve days of Christmas would make them surface to wander the earth. By the time they returned in January, the tree would have repaired itself and the Kalis start again. Now, what the Kalis do during the twelve magical nights of Christmas, with its partridges and pear trees and golden rings and wait, I'm getting off topic here. The Kalis cause mischief and chaos. They also kidnap children born over the 12 days of Christmas, turning them into yet more Kalis. Protection against these demons is so stupid that it's funny. To, to pre prevent your child from getting stolen, you must bind them in straw and garlic. To stop the Kalis from entering your house, you place a colander outside. This will prompt the Kali to count the holes. Because the three because three is holy in Greek <laughs> holy <laughs> being demons, the Kali will fail to count this number and this will occupy them to morning. But I do doubt you will get any sleep hearing. One two Ugh gotta start again. One two
all throughout the night. Number three, Frau Perchter from Austria and parts of Germany and Italy. The ultimate perception and worthiness test. In pre-Christian traditions, Perchter was an alpine goddess who was celebrated in the, on the twelfth night of after that. The, I really need to put punctuation. After that night, after that, she became a witch who punished anyone who displeased her. If it angered her, she would appear as a horned monster, but otherwise her appearance changed depending on how you perceive her and whether you please her. To please her, you do rituals. If you anger her, she will kill you in your sleep. That's simple. Number two. Yorkla Kothurin, or the Christmas cat, from Iceland. The Yule lads, who, will we, who we will get to soon, had a pet cat, who was the most terrifying creature that is on this list. This Christmas cat was huge and ferocious, with razor-like whiskers, blazing eyes, and huge claws. This sweet kitty ate any child who didn't receive new clothes on Christmas. Number 1. The Yule Lads from Iceland The 13 Yule Lads visit houses one lad a day. Starting on the 12th of December, now, I really need to get punctuation, ish. Nowadays, they are tricksters, each one unique, but in the past, they were not so benign, with them having a mother for whom they collected naughty children for her Christmas stew, and giving the good children candy in their shoes, <laughs> like stocking stockings. The 13 Yule Lads are as follows. Please note, I am not doing the Icelandic names, just the English ones. Sheep coat clod tries to suckle ewes. Gully gork steals foam from milk buckets. Stubby shorts and steals from pans. Spoon liquor. Guess what he does? Pot scraper. Another head scratcher. Bowl liquor from bowls that are under the bed. A bit like Spud's crazy gran keeping bowls and of food under their bed. Door slammer. Skyer gobbler. Skyer is an Icelandic yogurt. Sausage swiper. Window peeper. Likes to window shop through people's houses. Door snipfer. Likes baked goods. And has a big nose. Meat hook. Steals your hanging meat. Just let him try to steal my biltong. Candle beggar steals candles. Thank you for watching. I'm running out of ideas for this type of video, so I'm going to try different types of content. This will mess up my upload schedule a bit, and, and the fact that I am a master procrastinator. Goodbye.